I'm uh, getting ready to put the food fence together and I have uh, some 50 gallon plastic drums that I've cut in half that I'm going to use for the bases and I'm just going to kind of demonstrate what I do with one so you can get an idea. I've also got these uh, metal table legs that I picked up at Goodwill as is for a couple of bucks. Um, you could use probably anything uh, any piece of metal pipe or something that you can attach inside of uh, the barrel. So I'm going to pause here for a second while I turn this. Uh, the first step is uh, to drill holes uh, to put the bolts through to attach the leg. Now I'm doing this, the, the leg will actually go on the inside of this barrel, but uh, that's, come on, stay balanced. <laughs> It's easier to drill the holes this way, so I just kind of position it where I want it on the other side. And then I'm going to, um, well I suppose I can drill one at least one of these holes. I'm going to just use this, use the uh, holes as a guide so that the screw holes are not. Oops. So, anyway I'm going to turn this off while I drill the rest of the holes. Screws and nuts and washers here to put in. The holes are all drilled. Uh, just use screws, nuts, and washers appropriate to your particular uh, setup. And uh, I like to put the uh, screws and washers in from the bottom. I mean, it's all going to be concreted. These uh, screws are going to have concrete on them on the other side, so. It's not a matter of, can I take this apart or repair it? I mean, you could probably uh, break the concrete loose if you needed to take the, oh, two of them fell out. Darn it. Usually they stay in place pretty good. There we go. I'm going to have to put the camera down while I put this together. All right, here's the finished product. As you can see, it's all bolted in. And what I'll be doing eventually is removing this foot. I don't think I'm going to do it right now. I'll see if it'll come off easy. Nope. So I'm going to remove this foot, and then the post, one of the posts for the fence will fit in here. You'll see all that when, it, when I put it together. All right, there's all three barrels uh, with their posts installed. And I'm going to spray the bottoms out, clean them out real thoroughly and let them dry before I put the concrete in. Okay. All right, I've set up the three barrels there. I'm going to pour the concrete in them now that they're in position. They're not in precise position. I'm going to measure them and get them precisely spaced apart. But uh, yeah. There they are. Uh, next step is to pour the concrete in them. Actually, I think the next step for this one is to drill a couple of larger holes because the concrete's going to cover all those small holes. Uh, these others have large holes already in them, and I'll shape the concrete so that those will be the drainage points. And uh, since this is a bottom half that doesn't have that, I've used it previously as a planter, and so I've drilled little holes in it. but. Uh, I need to put a couple of big holes in and, and seal it up uh, with the con and cover it with the concrete. All right, um, so I'm using a uh, 80 pound bag of quickcrete, which I think will do probably about two barrels. And I've already actually mixed it up some and put it in this first barrel. And I'm, I'm adding some relatively clean uh, rock that I dug up in the yard and, and as you can see, I've already put some of the concrete in, and I've got toilet paper tubes uh, for the drainage holes. This one wasn't quite big enough to fill the hole in the bottom of the barrel, so I put a plastic bag around it uh, to act as a grommet. And I'm going to smooth this down and, uh, and finish mixing up and putting in the rest of this, and then I'll take another shot. Okay, I've shoveled all of the quick crate that I mixed up into here. I'm going to mix this rock, and uh, now I'm just going to kind of spread it a little bit. 
I want it to pretty much be sloped up towards the center as much as possible, but I also want it to uh, fill in pretty good down here, make a, a heavy disc to help keep the, the barrel stable and the, the fence above it stable. This is the uh, basically the anchor, the base for the free fence for one segment, as you will see as this process progresses. All right, I smoothed it, it out pretty good, but I think it needs a little bit more cement. I think I've got too much rock, so I'm gonna mix up some more cement and just kind of cover this with that so it'll be good and solid. All right, here's the uh, cement disc all finished and smoothed out so that the drainage points will be the lowest points. And I'm gonna do this, uh, repeat this process for the other two uh, posts and uh, and then I'll fill them with soil. 